This journey, regarded as a dangerous expedition, through terrains notorious for bandit operations, led to one of the numerous gold mining sites in Zamfara State. With underaged children seen visibly engaged in mining operations at the site, some will attribute this to child slavery, a condition that is frowned at even at the highest levels of government. The possibility of finding particles of alluvial gold from the earth and the promises of a better life for the children has led to the abandonment of schools, compelling the children to resume daily. We sell it to one Auta, one Ashiru, and we sell it to Aminu and Alarama. They are in Maru. See one of the dealers down there sitting. Look in their sitting. He takes them to the bigger dealers who will melt it. I'm here at another mining site, a gold mining site. Uh, we have a very lucky gentleman here who has uh, Mr. JJ. Now, JJ, okay. Yeah, well, a young man here is lucky to you know get uh, a particular particle that actually uh, worth one percent. So this young dealer is going to describe uh, what this particle of gold means. No, 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 gold. Take it. Show us where is the gold. Is this the gold? Yes. Touch and show us. So how much is this worth? Honestly, it can reach either 1% or 2% because it is small. It will cost around 5,000 naira. Despite activities at the mining site, the state government continues to insist that illegal mining in the state is banned, promising to clamp down on violators irrespective of their excuses. Because these bandits chased away villagers, chased away everyone, you know, on these mining sites. And they are now, you know, the full owners of those mining sites. And particularly this kingpin, Kachala Halili Sububu, he owns so many mining sites. The one that was killed? Of course, because that was where they are getting the money. And the state government bans the issue of mining completely. And it has even given a shoot aside order by the state, uh, by, to, the, to the state security agencies in the state, that whosoever was caught mining, they should be killed there on site. Because if there is mining, people are doing it illegally, then of course they will be having means of either liaising with the bandits for them to get, to, to get the gold, or they will be getting the gold and becoming, you know, bandits of themselves. That is the issue. And if you have not you know, do away with the issue of mining. If you have not subdued that illegal means of mining in the state, no way on the land world, no way insecurity will come to an end in this state. The government maintains that the children are being exploited and can be used as instruments to aid terrorism and banditry. The child miners also have their own side of the story. I am digging gold because I don't have money to enroll in secondary school. I have to go and dig for gold before I can resume school. If I take it to the dealer and sell, they will then give me the money. I take the money to my parents to buy food stuff. Any amount they give me, I save it. And once the festive season comes, I buy new clothes. The various demands made by these child miners simply means that the Zamfara state government and indeed the federal government have a lot of work to do to secure not just the future of the children of Zamfara, but that of Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Imaru Zamfara State for New Central. I am Emmanuel Bagudu.